Okay, then moving on. Uh, the next thing we're going to tackle is the last remaining bit of uh, plugin functionality, uh, and that's going to take care of our flex slider for us. If we have a look at what we've managed to build so far, there's uh, a, kind of a notable absence of our flex slider slideshow at the top of our home page. Um, and what we could do is use the existing files that we have uh, and actually slot it in there. But um, if you go over to WP Tuts, you'll notice that there's a very handy tutorial which explains how precisely you do that. Uh, a guy called Joseph, who you might recently have seen on Rockable for his um, WordPress theming book, has explained the entire process of grabbing the source files for Flex Slider and setting the whole thing up as a plugin. Uh, so there's no point in me going through this. Uh, he does it uh, extremely well, extremely thoroughly. So if you're interested in figuring out how that all works, then I highly recommend you go and follow it. Alternatively, uh, you can just download the source files that he's kindly provided for us uh, and use those effectively like, uh, like a WordPress plugin. This is the zip file that you'll download uh, by uh, checking out that link. And this is the content of our plugin. So I'm just going to uh, where are my files? I'm going to throw that into my plugins folder. There we go, the Envato Flex slider. And of course, that then leaves me uh, with the next step of checking out the plugins and activating it. Uh, there it is, Envato Flex slider. And uh, what, what he's done is hooked it up to custom post types. So upon activating this, uh, we're going to be able to uh, see a different kind of post, which will appear in the menu here. I may as well just turn that on right now. Uh, so instantly you can see these slider images here, which is effectively like another kind of post. And uh, it's these posts that are going to be rotated in our slider. So I'm going to... Uh, take a look at what exists and that is uh, nothing obviously and uh, so the first thing I need to do is add a new slider image. Uh, now he's beaten me to the post on this a little bit because I was going to explain to you how to set up your functions PHP in order to be able to use featured images with your posts. Uh, we're still going to need to do that because uh, if it weren't for this slider plugin uh, then you wouldn't be able to do this uh, with your existing posts. So. We've got featured image, uh, featured images um, uh, set up for us, uh, which is great. So for the time being, that's fine. And, and later we'll talk about how to do that uh, for our own posts, just in case it's necessary. So you can call these whatever you like. This is going to be uh, image one, and, and this data is available to use, as he explains in his tutorial. Um, in our case, we don't particularly uh, we don't particularly need it. But let me just see what we have. I'm now going to try and upload. I've hidden all my images. That was silly of me. Ah, theme assets, that's where I put it. Uh, I'm going to place uh, by each of these posts a featured image. And you'll recognize these from uh, our previous tutorials. Uh, at the bottom of these, uh, the media inspector, we can see this feature, user's featured image link, which I'll click. And you can see that instantly the image has been uh, selected as a featured image. So I'll publish that first one. I'm now going to add a second image, image two. Again, I need an image in order to define it as a featured image. Click on that and publish it as a post. And I'm going to add a third one. Select a featured image, and which one was it? This one. Alrighty. So I'll publish that, and then we have our three posts, which you can see are listed here. Uh, being custom post types, uh, they do not appear amongst the rest of our posts, which is uh, quite handy, because that could become quite messy. So, uh, let's see, the next stage is to actually slot this into our theme. 
so um, we're working in our index.php uh, which is the only file we currently have for displaying uh, for displaying posts and everything else uh, we're going to place this slider where's my coder window gone we're going to place this slider using a function which he's provided for us and if I just go to the top here we can see our div class flex slider and we're going to get rid of that delete it and replace that with this EFS slider function which he's provided for us that's going to grab those images and it's going to pump it out into markup that is uh, very familiar to you from having worked with flex, flex slider in our tutorial so here we go and there we are you can see that's working uh, just as you would expect so uh, a couple of things that are going to need to be changed uh, last to do with styling because we actually changed the way that flex slider was styled we had our own styling in our CSS files uh, but obviously we're now looking at uh, let's see we're looking at some additional styles which are being pulled in in his thing uh, in his uh, plugin so if we take a look at that plugin uh, Envato flex slider I'll open that up uh, as well and obviously uh, all these styles being pulled in in the CSS are pretty irrelevant to us so it depends how you want to handle this you can either paste our styles in here you could uh, get rid of the reference for this file within his uh, plugin uh, or alternatively you could just delete the contents of the file and leave it at that if I refresh the page now you will notice that uh, that looks an awful lot more uh, as we expected it uh, still a couple of things missing obviously our image here isn't being wrapped in a figure element uh, which is why we're missing the white border uh, and it's being uh, instantiated with the uh, the nav controls as well so we just need to get rid of those two things uh, and we do those by uh, let's see where well, what was the first thing to do we need to alter the way that our markup is pulled in so you can see here this is his function file and it's pumping in let's see this is the markup it's pumping in we have list items with the image being generated here so I'm just going to add a figure element into that markup like so and save that and upon refreshing the page because I'm not watching this uh, plugin folder obviously so it's not happening automatically uh, you'll see that the styled figure element that we were expecting has been placed in there uh, perfectly neatly last remaining thing is to get rid of these uh, little nav uh, bits and bobs and that's done where he instantiates it here in the flex slider function uh, I have to just check what the name of that uh, actually is you have to excuse me I can't remember the uh, flex slider syntax tell you what let's go to flex slider and actually see what those uh, parameters are called so here we are at flex slider and we now need to find the correct syntax to use what we're we looking for direction nav this is the uh, little parameter we're after so we're going to go back into our uh, Envato flex slider PHP this is the plugin PHP file and we're going to edit this just as we would with uh, instantiation code at the bottom of whatever document we happen to be working on because that's what's uh, outputted for us here it's true by default and we want to get rid of that so now we come back and refresh our page and with any luck the whole thing has been edited and works exactly as we would expect it uh, now obviously this is our index PHP and 
being the only page we have to output content, this is now going to appear at the top of every single page. Um, what we would therefore need to do is build other pages, single PHP for example, uh, or page PHP for depending on what the content is, and then you would include or disclude this depending on uh, what you felt was necessary. So that's uh, taken things that one step further, uh, another good job. So the last remaining uh, fairly crucial uh, task is to actually get this content pumped out uh, from the dynamic content uh, within our blog.